<laughs> so much fun. Y'all realize he got sacked seven times yesterday. That's a lot. Seven times. He was pressured like oh my lord times. I mean, taking hits, crawling off the ground. Like, I don't know how he was getting up. He's a rookie. I get it. He's a rookie. But Chase, I've come on this show along with others and said, Caleb Williams is the most talented college player I've seen based yeah. upon the new model of college players. He's not looking like it through two games. It's just two games. Mm -hmm. You worry, Jet, big dog. No, I'm not worried. There's a couple reasons I'm not worried. And the first and foremost, y'all watched the game, right? I, just, I, did. I, did. I did. Did you see that offensive line play, guys? Like, like I just want to throw up the graphic right now. I, I can't even talk about how <laughs> horrible this Bears offense was. Look at all these numbers. I'm not even going to read them. It looks like the matrix up there. It just shows you every position on that offensive line and just how bad they were. The Texans had 23, 23 team pressures on Caleb's 48 dropbacks. Almost half his dropbacks he was pressured. 36 individual pressures. That just goes to show me um, you are not really good at offensive line. And what's the most important thing for a quarterback? Point a game. Where has DeAndre Swift been? Where has he been? 48 rushing yards on 24 carries this hey, year. Hold on, hold on now. I'm just saying, 48 rushing yards on 24 carries, he's making $8 million a year, yeah. right? So I'm not worried about Caleb because I do think that offense needs to get going in the right direction. But I'm watching that, and I'm going to be completely honest with you last night. With, uh, we're, we're in the, in the uh, theater watching it, and, and I'm looking at my wife, and I'm like, this guy has zero chance at all to even look and read. Like, he's back there dropping out, and we were talking – on the break, like he does have a pretty good feel for the pocket, Caleb does. So I do think it's way too early to tell. But if you keep playing your offensive line like this, at the end of the day, you're going to get the guy hurt. Mm. See, see, now let me correct you real quick because quarterbacks always want to do that. Now, he asked about, are you worried about Caleb? And the first thing you jump to is the offensive line not playing well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then the second thing you just did that I just can't, ooh, it makes me so mad. You're running back. <laughs> you go to the running back. Like, What's the best thing for a He's quarterback? Hold on, you three. said a running game, right? Yeah. Now, why you ain't said the same thing for him, the line playing, blocking back for him running the ball? Mm. What are you talking about? The same way how you say, are you worried yeah. about Caleb because he's not playing well? Line, you you yeah. went to the line for his excuse. Yeah. Now, so you, you, said my, you, hold up, you said my boy is not running the ball well. You ain't said nothing about the line for him. Mm. He's that quarterback's the same are. thing. You it's peeped, you peeped that? Same. It's so one of he's these. averaging two yards carry. He's making $8 million a year. Uh, you peeped that? Look, look, crazy. on this desk, we quarterbacks, wide receivers, running backs, give us some love, Chase. Hey, Smokey Mama said it. Smokey Mama said the best. Make it enough. Make it enough. <laughs> I am not, I am not where, and by the way, DeMondre Swift is one of the most yeah. talented running backs in this league. I'm not worried about Caleb Williams. He's a rookie. Already's going through this, right? Mm -hmm. The good thing, I, I, I'm happy with what I've seen. I've seen some flash of the old Caleb Williams from college. Elusive, br breaking some sacks, right? Now, it, it didn't all pan out to what we want to be, but look at this right now. Hey, hey, if he made his last dude miss, that's on that's Hollywood for Fox still for sack. two weeks, right? Um, now, some of these plays, though, I, I, oh, I will say this. Lord. Even the line wasn't blocking well. Oh, Komet whiff right there. But there's some times where he, it's third and one, third and twos, and you throw the ball, they got to be hot. Yeah. You got a three-step reads, three-step um, um, drops, and you hold the ball for five seconds. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. So I think he's still learning from college and the pro with the difference. Uh, if you flip the sides and you go to the, the um, Houston Texans, on third downs, right, even though CJ got sacked sometimes, yeah. Yo, he's getting the ball out quick. Yeah. If he's scrambling, he's scrambling quick. He's got to feel for There's it. certain things he got to feel. So, and you know how this is a quarterback. It just takes time. He's a rookie. He's a young kid. Yeah. Um, can you can can y'all help me out a little bit? Because yeah, I could Caleb try. Williams has not played great these first two. No, 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 no. He has like a rookie. He's like a rookie. So, yeah, so we're not we're not going to like throw that under a rug. He's he's been struggling. Yeah, we yeah. see that as okay. clear as day. Yeah. Um, we can try to back something up before you know. I just want to know because I blame this on the offensive coordinator. I want to know. The Chicago Bears knew that they were taking Caleb Williams. Okay. That's why they drafted Roma Doomsday right behind him. That's why you traded for Keenan yeah. Allen. And I know Keenan was not there, but Keenan was there week one. Right. Why do coaches want to draft a player and they know their skill set where he's coming from USC and we spread out and he's making quick decisions, getting his ball out of his hands when he has to create, he can create. Why bring him in and be in jumbo formations and two tight end that, sets where he doesn't does best? Can you help me out yeah. with that? I mean, look, at the end of the day, he comes from Seattle Seahawks, right? And they were under center play action with Geno Smith. Geno Smith is a completely different quarterback than who Caleb Williams mm -hmm. is. Thank you. And I will say, though, I, I agree with you a little bit on Shane Waldron, who's the offensive coordinator. Why are you throwing the ball 48 times on the road? At least try to run the football with my guy, DeAndre Swift. Yeah. And it's an offensive line, not only for Caleb, but the running game as well. I just think you're putting too much pressure on but, him with these plays that you're calling. But, but not only that, though, like, I'm okay with you 
dropping back to pass. Get him into some good passes. I drew, I drew this play. What you got right there? I drew this play as oh, was over a, here. Oh, Because this is what they was in. <laughs> this is what they was in. You can't really you can't see, see it. it. But they got it's a, a fullback and a running back in the backfield with Caleb Williams, and they throw in a little jet sweep, oh. and the receivers is yeah. blocking. Yeah. And they yeah. ran it like seven times. Yeah. It worked once. But to be honest with you, though, that's your last quarterback's play. This quarterback's play, he is special at throwing the ball. Open the offense up. Put three, four wide receivers out there so my man could see the pressure and get the ball out of his hands. The very first drive, that's what they did. They spread him out. They let him read option and get the ball out of his hands. And then you want to bring in two tight ends. Help him out, offensive I, coordinator. I thought that Keenan Allen not playing was a huge loss. It was. How does that affect a rookie quarterback when you have Keenan Allen in the slot, especially on third down? Well, Keenan is one of them dudes that... I'm so good at running routes, I'm going to show you I'm open yeah. with the separation. He did not have that. Yeah. And if you're running quick game, Kenan is special at quick game yeah. because he's going to create separation off the release. He did not have that, but still with the play call and you're throwing all these slip screens and quick screens and all that, and you got a special thrower of the football. I put that on the offensive coordinator. Is Caleb playing well? No. But I blame the offensive coordinator for some of the play calls that he's calling. I'm worried. Uh-uh. You say that like you worried a lot. Yeah. You worried a lot. Yeah. I am. I'm you worried like she called. She's like, she call, it's late. Like, she late. You worried like that? I'm hey, hold on. Oh. My, my, dog, my dog just like with the sad voice. Yeah. I'm worried. Yo, <laughs> you, you, said, hey, you, said, you said you late. You sure, you sure you're worried out, Joe? You said you that one? Yeah. It's, it's, it's probably mine. Yeah, he worried. Yeah, he worried. Man, this uh, better be good if I'm you're that worried. Joe, and it might be the, the psychology in me. Y'all know I got my master's degree in sports psychology. I am obsessed with the that athlete's smart. mind. Smart, smart, smart. It's this. Losses take a toll on you mm. mentally. And the beating takes a toll on you physically. Mm. So now through two weeks of playing football, Caleb Williams has not looked like a competent quarterback. He's looked like a rookie quarterback. There you go. But in Caleb Williams' mind, he's used to dominating. Y'all realize as a freshman, he walked into Oklahoma, took the job from Spencer Rattler, who was a Heisman favorite, helped Oklahoma win 11 games, went to USC, won USC's first Heisman in 20 years, put them right. Went back to USC, was supposed to be the first back-to-back -back Heisman winner since Archie Griffin in 1973, 1974, I believe, Ohio State. Mm. So if you're talking about Caleb, he's always been a dog for about 10 straight years now from high school to college. Then you come to the pros. Mm. You throw for 94 mm. yards in your first game. Your second game, 170 yards, but on 40-plus attempts. You get sacked seven times. You throw three picks, but thank God the refs took one from you. All of the plays you used to make in college that would go for 70-yard touchdowns are now going the other way. I'm not worried because I don't think Caleb will be good. But Caleb is going to have to have so much mental fortitude. <clears throat> but what's the question we have about Caleb? Mm. The mental toughness. That's a question we have. He can't now, in large part because he wears it on his sleeve, but of anybody on national television, I believe I'm probably Caleb Williams' biggest fan. He got me blocked on Twitter. I don't even know what I did. For real? Swear. I don't yeah. even know what I said. You did something, I was like, man. Exactly right. You got to go back to I'm your gonna find out. check it Somebody, out. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. hit him up. But I say that to say, like, I'm worried about his psyche because, Shady, you know this, but you're incredibly strong mentally. Yeah. Losses can take a, 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 take a toll on yeah. you. Peyton yeah. Manning, one of one, right? Peyton mm. Manning is one of one. Yes, good but one. But I, I personally, and we'll talk about this much more later, I don't believe that Trevor Lawrence is all that bad. But after that rookie year, took a toll. First three years, took a toll. We'll talk about Justin Fields at nauseum. I don't think Justin Fields is all that bad. But in Chicago, he was 10 and 28. Mm. So he didn't play very mm. well. I don't think all the Cleveland Browns quarterbacks in the history of Cleveland Browns them are all that bad. I do. But they all look like it. <laughs> I don't believe all the Bears quarterbacks in the history of the Chicago Bears franchise are all that bad. But in Chicago, they look like it. If you dim somebody's light early, whether it's a child or an athlete or whoever, I don't know if that joint is ever actually going to end up shining. Ooh. That's well, that, why I worry. That's, that's, a, that's a, a good one, though, because I think confidence matters, right? Especially in this game, and you play a quarterback, you really need that confidence. But mentally, if you're not tough, you won't last. I don't care who yeah, it is. So, so I guess your words is, is legit reason. Like, hey, he's been winning his whole life. He's been this and that and third. Now he's not. And we won't see what who he really made. Right, because yeah, if, yeah. You can't, if you can't fight through that, you won't make it. And another thing is, what you thought was going to happen, bro? Right? First of all, you're going to the Bears. The Bears haven't been good in a long, long time. I can't wait to play the Bears, because you know why. They're not that good. Second, secondly, it's like, they give you all this talent around you, but you got to still gel. You still, you still got to learn. It's a new yeah. league for them. Only two. And I, I do think that, like, and I hear what you're saying, but, I, I got, like, good coaches help you out. I'll give yeah. you an example. Tua. <laughs> I thought Tua was trash his rookie year and et cetera, right? Mike Medina comes there, and the first thing he does to him is he has all these tape of good plays he made. 700. Why'd he do that, Acho? To build that confidence. Build Listen, dog, 
Don't worry about that. That was bad football they said you played, but I'm going to show you the good, the good football I've seen you play. Yeah. And when you show a player like that, it builds up the confidence. I think he'll be fine. Yeah. I think he's just going through with all rookies that start yeah. early go through. And but, then, but and real only, quick, hold on real quick, because this is maybe the most important conversation, because Shady says this a lot, not to cut y'all off, I, I rarely yeah. ever do that, is... Remember, though, Shady, all rookie quarterbacks, a lot of number one overall picks end up being busts. They end up sucking. They end up struggling. They end up never achieving, or at least they don't overachieve. I don't believe they are all bad. Mm -hmm. I think they go to situations, Situation. or at least they, they end up thinking that they're bad early, and as a result, they never materialize into who they're supposed to materialize into. Shady and I were both on the Eagles in 2013. I played as one of my favorite stories to ever tell. I played Odell Beckham before he made the catch, mm -hmm. and I played Odell Beckham after he mm. made the catch. This is a true story. We played Odell Beckham his rookie year. We played him... In